right, guys, so let's go ahead and shed some light on this subject and talk about the vehicles that we know that we're getting. So I snapped some pictures of some vehicles over on Rockstar Games' website earlier today, which we're going to be looking at right now, which the very first picture that stares right at you in the face is this brand new jet that's coming into the game. So... We did a little bit of research over here, and it looks like this thing is most similar to what would be called an F-35 Lightning. So if you guys want to go ahead and Google that, if not, I got to go ahead and like show you guys some pictures here. Uh, between the two, the similarity is almost spot on. Now, the one thing that I did notice is this thing particularly doesn't look like it might have any guns, or maybe it's got machine guns. But I don't really see any missiles, but hey, you don't see missiles necessarily on a Mark II oppressor, but those things come from somewhere too, right? Okay, so anyways, and there you guys, yep, F-35 Lightning, it looks like, is coming into the game, and this thing better be fast, it better be faster than the laser, but will it be faster than the Pyro? If you guys didn't know, the Pyro is the fastest, uh, you know, air vehicle in the game. Alright, so moving on to another vehicle that we know that we don't, actually we don't know if we're getting. I just want to go ahead and talk about this because like everybody has wanted one of these ever since it came in in 2014 with like the first DLC, which is the aircraft carrier. Are we getting an aircraft carrier? Do we get to own one of these bad boys? Oh my god, that would be super amazing. But unfortunately, I don't think that we're going to get to own an aircraft carrier. I don't think we're ever going to get to own an aircraft carrier in GTA because potentially what would that mean if everybody owned an aircraft carrier and a yacht uh, it would probably bug out the game like really big especially if there's like 30 people in a lobby all 30 people own an aircraft carrier and a yacht which spawns all out in the ocean I don't know I just don't feel like we're getting an aircraft carrier even though I would pay like 50 million dollars for something like this if not more right how much would you guys pay for an aircraft carrier fully pimped out with all the aircrafts and everything let us know down in the comment sections below but let's go ahead and move on to the next vehicle that i want to go ahead and talk about so regular avenger no it's not let's go ahead and take a closer look here so do you guys see what's on the bottom of the avenger here dude we've never had anything like that on the avenger in my experience before no, dude, there's, dude, it looks like there's, like, a machine gun, something on there, and, like, a missile launcher, too. Uh, regularly, the Avenger does not have that, so it does look like, confirmed right here with this picture, the Avenger is going to be getting some sort of update. We don't know what, but if you guys didn't know also, the Avenger used to be super tough when it came out in the back in the day, and they did nerf the, uh, I would say, you know, damage-wise for how much damage it can take. Uh, before it gets exploded especially if you hit the nose of it I think with a missile it ends up blowing up now these days but back in the day this bad boy used to take like 20 or 30 missiles before it ended up blowing up but of course today now nerf but we'll see what's going to be happening in the new DLC because I'm pretty excited to see what type of extra weaponry that they actually put on the Avenger because this thing already fully manned one of the worst vehicles to run into because these people will kill you the guns on here is like three tank guns or something like that and it can shoot from a super far distance uh yeah super op vehicle all right guys let's talk about this next vehicle which looks like an suv of some sort uh definitely like an off-road vehicle really cool that it's got the headlights there so we'll see if uh if i'm actually gonna put that on there and we'll see how good this thing handles off-road. Can't really see too much, um, but I do see a little bit in the background here that it is a pretty cool looking vehicle. It almost looks like a Meriwether type feel to it because the DLC that we're getting is going to be like some sort of Meriwether DLC where we're going to be battling Meriwether finally in the game. And uh, that'll be cool, right? All right, guys. So the next vehicle, and I believe it's going to be the last vehicle, is this uh, pinkish looking car right here. Which, I don't know if this is going to be a Benny's, because I can't really tell if those are Benny rims or not, but I'm not really sure. But it does look like, potentially, it could be a muscle car. Not really sure about that either, because I'm just looking at this. Don't have the very best of vision in life, uh, but just, uh, you know, assuming some things right here. And, like, how much do you think these vehicles are going to be? This one right here, definitely over $2 million. And for the jet, how much do you guys think the jet is actually going to be? How much do you think the SUV is going to be? particularly the jet itself is this thing is going to be probably marked at about eight million dollars or something like that knowing rockstar right 
and overall we'll be looking and seeing how much money the DLC is going to end up costing but I just want to go ahead and take a closer look at the information that was given to us today over on Rockstar Games website which you guys can go and visit right now and check out all the information over there because there's a lot of awesome little details that are going to be coming into the game to help us out as players as we sit patiently waiting for Grand Theft Auto 6. So anyways from there you guys if the video was helpful and you ended up enjoying it hit like button on the way out subscribe for new content leave a comment and thanks for watching my name is Gravesite and I'll see you in the next one so peace.